Hi everyone, welcome back. In this particular video, we will be discussing the problem word frequencies. A uh, array of strings will be given to us because words is nothing but strings, collection of characters. Your younger brother is really curious to know the frequencies of each word present inside the book. So each word will be present some number of times, maybe one time, maybe two times, maybe more than one times, or you can say the frequency of each word is what we have to need to figure out. So we have to do what? We have to write a program to calculate the frequencies of each word present in the book in sorted order. So what should be sorted? That is a point. Should we sort the strings? That is the words. Or should I sort the frequencies? That we will understand from the problem statement. So what is the input format? The first line of each test case is N. That is the number of strings. And second line of each test case will contain all those strings. So let's say there are five strings in the example. The strings are Aman, Aman, double A, Aman, double A. So these five strings are there in total. So what will be the output? Output will be double A, two. That is double A string is present two times in the array of words, in the list of words. And the Aman string is present three times. So Aman three. In the given output, frequency of A, A is two and that of Aman is three. So frequency will be number of occurrences in that given list of words. So if I take one more example, let's take an example having strings cryo let's take maybe aman let's take cryo let's take cryo again let's take aman with capital a let's take the string where maybe we are having a string or let's not for now capital let's not take the capital strings uh maybe we can have a string which is aman again and let's now take cryo dot do so these strings are there how many strings are there? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. In total, 6 strings are there. So n is 6. So what will be the frequency of each string? As you can clearly see, Aman in this string is present how many times? 2 times. Cryo in this string is present how many times? 3 times. And cryo dot do is present how many times? We can say 1 time. But what should be the output? Output, should it be sorted on the basis of the strings or should it be sorted on the basis of the values that is the frequencies? In the sample input, you can say AA is smaller than Aman, 2 is also smaller than 3. So it is a confusion actually. And it's, this confusion should be cleared by you in an interview by basically clear, clarifying it with the interviewer itself. But if you are giving a coding assessment, then what you can do is you can most probably run a sample test case. You can just put in a test case and try to run something. So for now, I am just returning null so that we are not getting any syntax error and what we are trying to do is let's take these six strings which we have taken in the example which are aman aman two times cryo 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 three times and cryo dot do the last time and the expected output if it will be sorted on keys then it will be you can say aman will be first then you can say cryo will be there then cryo dot do will be there and if it will be based on the frequency sorting then first cryo dot do will be there then aman will be there then cryo will be there Let's see what is the order. We can confirm it while in an coding assessment. Although in an interview, as I told, you have to clear it with the interviewer himself or herself. So it is taking some time to run. Let's see. And the output, as you can see, is first Aman, then Cryo, then Cryo.2. So it is based on sorting of the strings, the words. So we have to sort the strings. But the point is how we can sort all of these strings. This is the output what we need. This is the output. Since we need a list of pairs, what will be pair containing? A pair will be containing two things. First, the word itself and second, the frequency of that word. We need to maintain these pairs. We need to store these pairs from the entire list of words. So how we can convert the list of words into the corresponding key value pairs? This is your key. This is your value. This is your string word. This is your value frequency, integer frequency. So we can actually take help of some data structures, which will help me maintain the frequency, which will store the key value pair. And one such data structure, which will help you to store key value pairs will be nothing but a set. And actually not a set, but a map, because map will do what? Map will store key value pairs. But which kind of map? In most of the languages, there are two kinds of map. One is the sorted map. One is the unsorted map. Although it is known in different terms, like sorted might be just known as map, unsorted might be known as 
the unordered map. Sorted might be known as a tree map. Unsorted might be known as you can say hash map. So it will be having different names, but the point is we need a map. And since we need all the strings to be sorted, since we need all the keys to be sorted, one such map which we need is nothing but sorted map. We need keys to be sorted. And if keys need to be sorted, we have to implement the sorted map. Actually, internally, what is a sorted map? If you will go into internal implementation, you can do it as a follow-up to just check through it. It will be using a binary search tree, a BSG tree. But for now, we can just have a sorted map. So what we will do is, we will store all the key value pairs in that sorted map. Initially, the sorted map, that is the tree map or the ordered map for now will be empty. We will be trying to check whether cryo is present in that sorted map. Till now, it is not present. So I will put a cryo with how much frequency? Old frequency will be zero. It is not present till now. So it should be taken as zero. And new frequency will become zero plus one. It is occurring for the first time. What about the one? Same thing. Since it is not present till now, it will become zero plus one. And since the tree map is sorted, we can assume that for now, that Aman will be stored before cryo. Although internally what is happening, we can't uh, say for now. Because internally it is not a linear data structure, it is nothing but a hierarchical data structure, a tree getting formed. But for us, we can have an abstraction that the smaller key, that is the alphabetical order first, Aman will be there because we have a sorted map into place. Cryo, since cry is already there, we will take its old frequency and we will do the frequency plus plus. That is now frequency will become one plus one two. Again, frequency will become two plus one, which is three. Aman, frequency will become one plus one, which is two. And finally, the cryo dot do, it is a new key, which we will insert and the frequency will become zero plus one. And once we have all the key value pairs, now there is no need to run a loop on the input array. We can just return all these pairs by just storing them into the output data type. Output will be a dynamic list or you can say a vector or maybe a you can say a dynamic array. And we will just store all these key value pairs by running a loop on the tree map or the sorted map and just push all these pairs into a vector, into a array. So that is the approach. But what is the time complexity or the space complexity of this approach? Since First of all, if I am assuming that each string is of order of n length, where every string if let's say is order of n length and n such strings are there, the overall time complexity will go as one single insertion. How much amount of time it will take? It will take order of L time, but since it is a sorted map, it will not only take order of L, it will actually take basically comparison, which actually do comparison so that all the keys are sorted. And if it will do all the comparisons, it will also take order of log n time. So overall time complexity will become how much? Overall time complexity will become n log n for one single insertion. But how many insertions are we doing? We are doing n insertions. So we can say it will become n log n into n again. So it is actually n square log n. That, that kind of time complexity is L is assumed to be equal to N. It will be N square log N. What about the space complexity? Space complexity we can assume is just all these strings are getting pushed. So if each string is of L length, how many total strings are getting pushed in that sorted map? We can say L plus L plus L in total N into L strings are getting pushed. So space complexity will be L times N. That is each string of L length. How many such strings? N such strings. So L into N extra space due to the sorted map. So this is the time and space complexity. Let's just directly now jump on to the third milestone where we will actually write the instruction manual. So what we are going to do is we are going to say, let's just create a sorted map. Let's create a sorted map or you can say a ordered map, whatever it is known as in your language, which is having of keys, what of keys as strings because we need to push words and values as integers. And let's just say the sorted map is named as the frequency because we are going to anyway store the frequency of all the keys. Now what we are going to do, we are going to run a for each loop on the input array. So run a for each loop, that is one by one, take all the strings from the array of words. So run a for each loop on all words of array and just insert them into the frequency. So just basically 
first of all get the old frequency get the old frequency of the string from hash map from the sorted map and we have to actually take default zero that is if the old frequency does not exist then take the default value as zero and what we have to do we have to update the frequency so update the frequency of string as the old frequency plus one that is frequency plus plus in hash map or you can say in map not hash map but a normal sorted map so once we have put all the key value pair in a sorted order all the strings comma their frequencies in the sorted map now we can just form the resultant so create a resultant vector or you can say a dynamic array of pairs dynamic array of pair and just run a for each loop again run a for each loop over all key value pairs over key value pairs in hash map just run a loop on all the pairs in hash map and put all those pairs into the vector so push each pair in the vector inside the loop push push the pair in the vector and finally we can just return that vector that is what we need as a return type we do not need to return the map itself we have to return the vector that is a dynamic array so this is the instruction manual which we are going to follow in order to solve this question we will be writing the code for the problem word frequencies now we will be using that pseudo code in order to write the code in java language and also discuss the various corner cases which might be there so first of all what we need we need a sorted map so that we can create all the key value pairs and since all the keys need to be sorted all the strings need to be sorted we have to have a sorted map which is nothing but known as a tree map in java so tree map internally it is nothing but a binary search tree a self-balancing binary search tree but nevertheless tree map of string comma integer because keys will be the words and value will be the frequency of those words that is integer tree map of frequency is equals to new tree map this is how you create a empty sorted map in java and what we can do is we can run a loop on over all the words of the array by a for each loop by running each word at a time that is each string at a time we will take and do what with that string first get the old frequency of that string from the tree map itself from the map itself that is frequency dot get the frequency of this element of this word but if the frequency is not present we have to take it zero this function will return null if the key is not present we do not want null we want zero so instead of using get function we can use get or default function that is if the word is present take the frequency of that word from map but if the word is not present in the map take the frequency as zero that is the second parameter and now since we have to do frequency plus plus now what we can do is just put the frequency put means update here put will act as update where we will just say that for the same word put the frequency as the old frequency plus one if it is being inserted for the first time it will get zero plus one as one frequency for the first time frequency will be one but for the second time onwards whatever the old frequency will be just add one in that and update the frequency so this is how we can create the entire tree map let's just print the tree map in order to ensure that we are getting the same you can say all the keys or not all the key along with their values or not and for now what we are going to do is we are going to just return null so that we are not getting any uh, missing return statement error so let's see what is the output it is taking some time to run let's see and the output as you can see is aman 2 cryo 3 cryo dot do one and all the key value pairs are sorted as you can clearly see so the tree map is working absolutely fine what we can do is we can create a resultant vector which is containing the dynamic array of pairs the dynamic array of pairs it will store so let's create a vector that is what we have to return in this return type vector of type pair it will store the key along with the value the string along with the integer and let's say this is resultant is equal to new vector and how we can push all the vectors from hash map or maybe the tree map the sorted map that is into the vector we can run a loop on this sorted map so it will run on all the key value pairs but how to run a loop on all the key value pairs from a hash map or from a map we can just say that take one entry from a map entry will be a key value pair so how to run or how to sorry how to take a data type which is entry that is which is nothing but key value pair we can say map 
from the map take a entry of type what of type string comma integer every entry is having two things first data type is string that is a key second data type is integer let's say this is pair which we are getting take all the pairs one by one from the frequency map and we can't run a loop directly on frequency we have to say we are running a loop on the entry side we are running a loop on all the entries entries will be all the pairs how can you get the keys from the entry how can you get the value from the entry key is nothing but string so string key is nothing but the pair dot get key get key will be the function to get the key from the pair and similarly how can you get the value from the pair you can say pair dot get value simple enough so this is how you are running a loop on all the key value pairs let us for now print all the key value pairs so that we are ensured that whatever we are trying to do is it working fine or not i am using print ln statements so that all the outputs will be in the different lines all the key value pairs let's see what will be the output for this loop it is taking some time to run i don't know why it did not run completely let's run it again so let's wait for the output actually let's do what let's just use print statement i am not sure why it is not running it might be again a portal issue again so let's copy this entire code and refresh the portal so after refreshing the portal if i will run the code again let's see if the output is getting displayed or not okay so there is a small spelling mistake we are using string it is not string in value it is integer in value or you can use integer with capital i both are equivalent only so value will be an integer the frequency let's just run it again to see and output yeah, as you can see is only one string was there in the custom test case let's try our own test case where there is aman aman cryo 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 dot do let's run this code hopefully it should give me all the key value pairs only three outputs should be there because three different strings are there as you can see aman two cryo three cryo dot do one yes so this loop is working fine but we have to push all these pairs into the vector into the resultant so we can do resultant dot add a new pair a new pair because resultant is containing pairs where i am calling this function this constructor pair and i am passing the key and the value so what is the key key is the string and what is the value value is integer so push all these pairs and now instead of returning null we will return this resultant vector only so let's just see if it is working fine or not now let me just have this comment line before the pushing thing let's see if the resultant is also same as what we require like the map was correct the loop was correct but are we able to transfer that all key value pairs into the list and yes we are able to so if we will submit this code let's see all the test cases will work or not and as you can see 22 test cases are getting accepted all the test cases are getting accepted so all the corner cases are working the sorted nature is working and what was the time complexity and space complexity time complexity was running a loop on all the strings order of n but get or put will be having for each get or put it will be logarithmic of n into length of the string so overall time complexity for this entire code will be n into l into log of n that is you can say it is n square log n in general and what about the space since we are using an extra map it is not in the input not in the output so due to this map there are the space complexities of all the strings getting stored and how many uh strings are getting stored n strings of each l length so total space will be n into l again so that was the time and space complexity for the problem word frequencies